I was the second person in the parish to go to college. I can, I can still remember that so plainly and so vividly. I actually remember the first, I, first couple of days coming up the main stairs, take a left, down along the corridor, take a right and down to the end of that corridor and there's where we did a lot of our lectures and technical drawing. You had fields like that you go to your neck in in the winter time and, and, and even the posts like mightn't be standing up straight. There was really no facilities to change and like you were changing it around the car, there was no showers. Like. There was a field and that's where we played soccer and cross country running and um, and we put up nets and we had um, indoor and outdoor volleyball. And we had mechanical civil construction and plastics engineering started sometime around us. So there was about eight of us in our class. It was a really nice culture in the, in the college at that time. And I believe all of that built me, my character, and built me to be who I am today. What happened very quickly though, when you came to a place like that long was, they were really good at getting the classes to know each other. So, you know, very quickly, that small group of six or seven lads from all around the country became really good friends. There was always a great camaraderie. I think when the RTCs were set up, and particularly at Lone, they were small, and uh, they were very much like a, a, just a step on from second level. Um, and I think that developed here very well. So, but I knew then, yeah, this is for me. I made the right decision. You really got to know everyone. You got to know people, they got to make an impression on you, and you could see the passion they had for what they were doing. There was an advert for the, for the, the role in Athlon, and I applied, um, and had the interview, uh, and then they offered me the post, and uh, that was probably, I don't know, sometime in June or July 1999, and I started on the 1st of February 2000. When I came onto the campus, the thing that probably stood out with me, the amount of prefabs that we had around it. He had a lovely vision, I think, of what a student should be. And I said, God, there really is a lot of work to do here. I think the time I, I properly met him was um, in January 2004. It, he was always thinking. He was always kind of uh, pushing the boat out. Um, I was doing my PhD and my supervisor passed away uh, very, very suddenly, very sadly. But uh, work never frightened me. I was always one to say, okay, let's see what we can do. Let's get a development plan. Let's see where we can go uh, and see what we can do with it. The fact that, you know, within an hour or two of that news coming out, that, that Kieran had reached out to me and, 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 and met with me, I didn't think that was the sort of thing that happened in colleges. He mentioned to me one time about putting in an outdoor athletics track. And I was going, brilliant. And I, I just said to him, I was in his office, said, can we get an artificial pitch as well? He said, grand, we'll build it too, just like that. And off we went. He, he is looking to try to drive on every aspect of the college all the time. I remember well the day that, that we talked about it for the first time. And we're just walking through, we're after coming from funeral or something, just walking through and Kieran just stopped and he's broken his chin and said, I think we'd fit uh, an arena in here. And uh, Ger looked at him in amazement, like, and so did I. And he said, Ger, would you measure it up and see? And he threw out the dimensions for it. And um, he says, are you off your head? He said, sure, how would that fit in there? He said, but he said, I'll look at it. I said, no, I said, if you go onto the IAAF website, they'll give you the full spec. Ger met me the next morning uh, and he had a flag box open and he said, you know Shay, it'll fit. I measured it last night and it'll fit. The whole internationalisation strategy has been um, led from the top. Kieran has been instrumental in setting up many of our international relationships. His uh, sort of uh, vision was international. Like the first thing I noticed was we started to have this this new thing called Erasmus. Uh, my name is Zhang Wenjing. Uh, I'm from the Asong University of Asia Chief of Staff. Now I'm in China, Shanghai. All of a sudden, uh, a, a trickle of Chinese students. And we just started to build uh, that linkage. I and mean, we got, I think, the first year we may have got four students in. Good evening, all the 
friends, colleagues, and Mary. Uh, my name is Jack. I'm the director of Asia for Athlo Institute of Technology. I'm currently in Shanghai, China. The second year, you know, we got 30 in them. The next year, we were getting near 100. Developing those relationships is so important because if you don't develop genuine relationships, they won't last. We want to be the provider of choice for research in the Midlands, and I think how you drive that is you grow relationships with people and you deliver. In all of the research centres that we have here, we're involved in, in five of the SFI national research centres. That doesn't happen just by uh, hypnosis. It happens because they're knocking on our door saying they want us because they're seeing what we're doing. They're seeing our citation indexes from our academics. They're seeing how we work with industry and that applied nature of our, our research. And the industry are knocking on the door saying we need you to do this. Can you help us out on that? Can we get an innovation partnership with you? Can you use an innovation voucher with us? So all of those things have created that real dynamic. And what's happening now is that industry are out there saying we want graduates coming out of AIT because they're work ready and they have the practical orientation. They're not just having all of the theory, but they know how to bring the theory into practice. Because they know what we can do and they know how we do our business. And I think that value to the community is huge. And it, it can't be it, it can't be underestimated. The amount of memories this track brings back like from I've won many national title here, the, the times I've ran here and stuff like that, it's, uh, there'd be memories to go on, like, which is great. He's still fighting up there, John Travis, and that's just what the home crowd want to see. He is an AIT man, he's a Tullamore Harriers man, he's locked in more ways than one, two laps to go, and now... I always had this dream, you know, that if we built it here, we would bring athletes in. Certainly, like, we were in television. We were, you know, people were now talking about the great facility. Eamon Cockton was down here. I'd invited Eamon Cochrane down to see it. And Eamon walked in up the ramp and just cried. And he says, I never thought in Ireland we would have a facility like this. From there, uh, it brought us into the days of the AIT International Grand Prix, which is you know, a world-renowned event. We were now at the top table. Five of the athletes who competed here that night went on to take gold medals in, in Rio. But it wasn't just for the students he built it. He built it for the whole community. Every night you went out there, like, you could see a couple of hundred kids. They can dream to be an Olympic champion. They can dream to be a world champion at whatever the event is. And if you look at the wall behind the start race for the 60 metres, it says your journey starts here. It was, a, you know, a field of dreams. It really was. But it's really about a passion for the region, helping the Midlands, helping the staff here, helping the students. I always had the vision that Athlone has always boxed above its weight. Uh, had a great reputation since its foundation in the polymer engineering. What the president has done is create an environment for people to succeed. You know, we, there was always an ambition for us to become a university in the Midlands. Um, and that's not because we felt in any way that we were deserving of it or that we were entitled to it, but because we felt the Midlands region needed a university. And that's the vision that I have always had. Let's get this university into the Midlands and let's really drive that dynamic for economic development for broadening access and social inclusion. It's about empowering people through knowledge. Uh, it's much more than an organisation. Uh, it's a home of humanity, of throbbing hearts. And, I, and I'd like to think that the environment Ciarán has created, the environment the college has, cultivated for the last 50 years, is one where people can grow and become the best version of themselves. Like, to apologise to no one, uh, you, you don't have to. You can be the best and you are the best.